our brain. This video is brought to you by Squarespace. Good morning. Today I'll be trying to get my life back on track. There is an exam and a deadline for a project that I need to finish, both in 12 days. I've been doing some active recalling just now by doing Anki questions. I usually do active recalling either first thing in the morning when my brain feels fresh or right before I go to sleep because memory consolidation happens during sleep. Also, I plan each day leading up to the exam by distributing whatever revision that needs to get done before the exam. So I can clearly see what I need to revise on that specific day to finish everything on time. I usually leave the last two days blank just in case I can't complete a task on the day that I originally planned to do. So the last two days are there to buffer and for me to catch up on just in case anything doesn't go as planned. So let's get on with today's to-do list. done studying for now now we're going to try and book a haircut appointment for today it's pretty last minute so i'm not sure if they're going to have any space it's literally opened just now good afternoon i was wondering if there is any haircut appointment available for today haircut yes i do have a cut appointment today <laughs> One box when I come home today. Yes, I want some. Do after five so I can have some as well. Shay, check on the show. I'm outside shopping right now and I realized I miss running errands and hanging out alone by myself. This feels like a therapy session to me, especially when it's exam season. Doing anything but studying feels like a reward. <laughs> Before we continue with the rest of the day, I want to present you Squarespace. It's an incredibly rich publishing platform to create a website, a blog or an online store. If you're a beginner like me, Squarespace makes it so easy to help you stand out as they have thousands of beautiful, fully customizable templates. You can also track analytics to help you understand your viewers or buyers so you can see where you should focus next when creating content or developing marketing plans. I love that you can connect all your social media accounts, letting your visitors connect with you on every major network. So if you're interested in creating your own site, go to squarespace.com 
for a free trial and when you're ready to launch go to squarespace.com slash sillyheart to save 10% of your first purchase of a website or a domain. My hair is like very heavy when it's I just got out of the hairdresser but it's 2 to 5 p.m. right now and at 5 I had a teach by a fifth year who's giving a teach on the assessment that we have a deadline for in 12 days so he was just going to give tips on that and I really wanted to join I might just join on my on my phone I really wanted to go to library but Look at my hair. Can you see it? Barely. Oh, okay. It's quite good actually. <laughs> Do you like it? Yeah. Oh, you're not crying, so that's good. <laughs> I'm glad like as she works out. The Zoom teach is finished so I'm going to chill for a bit. But it was such a busy day and also I've been vlogging so it doubles the work. It's so important to take breaks and slow down, especially when you're feeling overwhelmed with studying and everything else in life. I know it can be hard to take breaks without feeling guilt because of all that toxic productivity. But then if I don't enjoy my break then I'm literally wasting it. So hope you're taking breaks and not burning yourself out while studying. Currently the exam I'm preparing for, or I guess cramming for, is three hours long and it's on everything that is medicine related. So we get questions on every speciality from cardiology to surgery to women's health, basically everything. When I'm getting tested on such broad material and there is not much time left until the exam, I try to quickly bring back all the information I learned before by doing rapid fire questions on all subjects in the question bank because the chances are I won't remember the information I revised even two weeks ago. If I'm short on time, I'll do as less as 15 questions on each speciality just to stimulate my memory on that topic. Because all information is physically connected in our brain with something called synapses. So stimulating even some of those connections by doing a few questions about a topic should help you remember the rest of the information around that topic as well. I mean, that's the scientific theory and it works for me. If you try it out, let me know how it goes for you. I'm starving, I'll eat some food then. It was a very productive day for me. Hope you enjoyed it. Consider subscribing and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.